In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to paint the Kenner-inspired Jurassic Park 3 hatchlings from Gary Surratt over at Surratt Tech. There will be no airbrush required, and I'm going to keep the paint apps very simple so beginners and casual painters can follow along easily. To purchase your own set, the link will be in the description box below. Let's get started. Today we'll be painting the male Velociraptor from Jurassic Park 3. I have him hot glued down to an old medicine container to help me hold on to it better while I'm painting it. And we're going to go in with our first color, which is Apple Barrel Khaki. I'm going to thin the khaki paint down with a little bit of water to help with flow. And I'm going to apply two thin coats to ensure that I get even coverage. With the khaki done and dried, we're going to move on to our next color. That is going to be Burnt Umber from Apple Barrel. Again, we're going to thin the burnt umber down with some water and we're going to apply three coats this time. The burnt umber paint does not have very good coverage, so you will have to apply several thin coats to ensure even coverage on the figure. This is just after one coat dried and I'll show you what it looks like after three coats. This is three coats of the burnt umber and it's all dried and ready to go. Now we're going to go in and start painting some details. First off, we're going to take khaki and barn red and mix them together to make a nice light flesh tone color. And we're going to get a thin brush and paint the inside of the mouth as well as the gum line. We're going to jump back in again with khaki one more time with a thin brush and we're going to go in and paint triangles on the top part of the head. You can see in the sculpt where you need to put them at the back of the jaw, in the middle, and then we're going to do one last one at the tip of the snout. Now we're going to go in with candy apple red and apply a dry brushing on the crests on top of the head as well as the back part of the figure. We're also going to hit the hands and the feet with a very light dry brushing of red. Now we're gonna go in with black and we're gonna start painting some of the black details on here, like the claws, the eyeball, and the quills on top of the head. You'll also wanna take the black and create a black outline on the sides of the figure, starting at the back part of the eyeball and paint them all the way down to the tip of the tail. We're gonna put our white stripes over this black later on. Now we're going to go in with some blue paint and we're going to paint the eye socket blue. A couple of thin coats will do the trick. Now we're going to go in with some black and paint the eyeball black. And then we'll go back in with some of the red, paint a red eyeball along with a yellow pupil and then a tiny little black dot on the inside. Now we're going to grab a lighter sky color blue and we're going to go in with a fine tip brush and very carefully add little tiny accent dots all along the darker blue section around the eyeball. It's gonna give the impression that there are tiny little scales around the eye. Now we're gonna go in with antique white and we're gonna start picking out some of the white details. You're gonna to want to add little tiny white dots along some of the quills, being very random with them. And then you're gonna to wanna to take the white and start building up these stripes on the sides of the raptor using sort of a dotting motion to dot your stripes in, trying to stay inside the black lines that we painted earlier. You'll also carry that antique white down into the mouth, taking your fine tip brush and just very gently touching the very tips of each of the teeth inside the mouth. Now you wanna take your burnt umber that you used at the beginning and you want to paint upside down triangles on the lower jaw. You can see the stripe pattern on the top part of the head, where it needs to line up and where you need to put your upside down burnt umber triangles. With all of the painting done, now it's time to seal all of our hard work in. So first you wanna take some gloss Mod Podge. You wanna get a fine tip brush and go in and gloss up the inside of the mouth and the teeth, the claws, and both of the eyeballs. For the body, we're gonna use matte Mod Podge and you wanna thin this down with some water. You wanna go for a milk-like consistency. You don't wanna put it on too thick, so a couple of thin coats of the matte Mod Podge will do the trick. 
This is going to help lock all the paint in, protect it, and will also give it that nice uh, factory finish that we're going for. And here we have the male Velociraptor hatchling all done and he's looking really awesome. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found the information provided useful. Remember if you want to purchase your own set of Jurassic Park 3 Kenner inspired hatchlings, the link will be in the description box below. Remember to stay tuned for the third video in this four part series where I'll show you guys how to paint the Corythosaurus. For more Jurassic related content, you know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you around the compound.